Welcome back to Beach Bounce Life. I'm Kirsa Brenner, your host with Just Add Water and Stir and Living Life with a Beach Frame of Mind. These are going to be your messages for May 2024. And we had a pretty intense month last month in April with the eclipse season and also with Uranus conjuncting Jupiter in Taurus. So wherever Taurus is in your natal chart, that's where you're going to feel the most impact of surprise and expansion. And as we go through this, this month is all about integration as we go from Taurus into Gemini season. And we'll be able to step more into being more methodical. Aries season was planting the seeds. Taurus season was germinating the seeds, and now we'll be able to start thinking about more strategic ways to grow our projects and ideas of what we want to manifest for this year or the remainder of the year. But I will say that April was the intense, most intense month we will have. The rest of the year will still have some craziness, but April was definitely going to be the most intense that you probably would have felt on an emotional level. You probably would have felt on um, intense what am I doing with my life level? But that's okay because that's part of the process, right? And so as we go through the intuitive messages for each sign, I encourage you to look up your sun, moon, rising sign and Venus sign if you want and go to the timestamp down below. Or actually these will, you know what? I'll make these individual videos. So you'll just have them and um, but just go to each, each zodiac sign and it will give you a little bit more of a reading to kind of cater to you personally since these are general readings when a sun sign there's not you know a sun sign is just very general it's just for 12 people right or 12 signs so when you incorporate your rising sign now you have your person your personality and your moon sign and how you handle emotions and your venus sign is the planet of love so you know what that means so that being said enjoy the videos please make sure you're subscribed to the channel it really helps get the message out of positivity and love and light and click the thumbs up on the video and let's get into it all right gemini what's going on for your may intuitive readings for love and career here we go all right getting into it i pulled a spread already and i do see that just the overall energy is telling me that you're sending this in this space where you're feeling a little bit ungrounded, like rebuilding things and maybe looking at things in the past. I do see with the Eight of Cups, this is all about with this card, is looking at things that used to fulfill you and used to make you feel really excited and invigorated and they no longer have that luster. You have new horizons if you just turn behind you and walk away from these things because there is so much in store for you that is going to transpire this month, okay? I do see that, you know, like you definitely have, there's a, um, a shock that's going to come to you with this Ace of Wands, like, woo, lightning bolt out of the sky of inspiration. And if you're not feeling inspired, you need to find things that will invigorate that fire within you, Gemini, okay? Because crossing the reading is telling me the two of, wands is all about you're out there looking you have this idea you're not sure if you're feeling motivated to do it if it's actually going to transpire or something for you but it will the world is your oyster you can manifest anything especially with wand energy so quickly that fire all that fire energy it, you can use it to your advantage okay i do see that you have a little bit of a heartbreak that will be popping up this month that it could be something from the past that's triggering you that made you feel that you had a decision to make between two people or two jobs or two projects that you felt like it was going to you knew what you you, you need to use your integrity to make the right decision make sure you're not making any decisions out of your ego this month because as you wait for things to come in, don't feel discouraged because sometimes when you clean the slate with the tower card, right, things are torn down to the ground and then you build them back up, right? Whoop, plant new seeds. So I feel like you're going to be in this process of planting new seeds, getting rid of the things that no longer deserve your attention and your energy. And as that, that space is cleared, you're going to 
make sure that you stay in this space that you're not expecting things to pop up immediately because it takes time for things to germinate. It will take time for your ships to come in, Gemini. Okay. With that being said, I do see once you start to see that the balance and everything, the ebb and flow, you will have the two of cups, this beautiful energy, and there's a lot of star energy happening for you. So I see that you are the star of the mofo show and you need to own that because even with the two of cups, here they are, this couple is giving beautiful reciprocal energy, pouring into each other's cups, okay? You have the star, you are their North Star, they are your North Star, or it, you are also looking at the same vision as opposed to looking at each other, you have the same vision in mind of where you want to go. So you do have luck on your side, and until you walk away from the, these unfulfilling things with the Eight of Cups, you're going to you won't be able to see what's behind you with this star the shooting star literally is literally going right to the couple okay so if you're looking for love or you're looking to in, invigorate romance in your life that is your key point this month okay we will balance things out with the yin and yang it's all ebb and flow see also when things balance out your ships will come in which is exactly what the three of wands card indicates um where did that card go? Oh yeah, so the three of wands, right? Looking out and watching for the ships to come in when things balance out. So you need to balance out what's healthy in your life this month. As you do that, you're going to start to embrace the empress energy of sitting on your throne. Again, another star, there's three. So three, 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 and also the empress is a three card. So threes could be very significant and actually, so with the Empress card, I didn't want to get too excited, but also behind it is the three of pentacles. So threes are very significant, okay? And as you tap into this energy, it's going to give you what you need and light the way because you are divinely guided with this, okay? There are three stars here. Literally, you have the star that's behind you once you let go of things, okay? And then you have the star with the two of cups for romance and then you have the empress card so this is really really good energy and the overall card is coming in as an offer of love of um moving things forward this is or also going to give you an emotional an opportunity to expand on your emotional i want to say awareness but it's not that it's it's going to make you feel really good and so this could be something work oriented but i really feel like this is very much on the emotional realm which is more of romance or passion projects so you have to let me know let's see with the beach balance life ocean goddess deck let's see what is coming up for you and okay so yes i have smooth sailing is coming in for you so all the stars are aligning i love that all the stars are aligning so you are a star this month. You need to tap into that energy, into the celestial energy and own it because everything is effortlessly falling into place for you with smooth sailing. You will have what you're looking for. You will have a smooth ride, but you have to let go of the things. Otherwise, if you don't, your ride could be a little bit more bumpy. I do see on the leeward side of the island is all about taking a break, getting out of the wind, getting out of the chaos and embracing that beautiful energy, relaxing and being still and true. So maybe even some good meditations, just a couple days of really good time out in nature, a nature meditative walk, whatever it may be, it'll serve you in so many ways, okay? Let's see for the Pure Ocean Heart deck. I love this deck, Dolphin Energy. And let's see what your mantra is. So the ocean will wash away your tears, so release and let it go, so yes. The energy that you need to release and let go with this eight of cups mother ocean will take care of it for you open your heart into that ocean open heart ocean space of being open and vast as the ocean and know that possibilities are infinite right how exciting is that so let's tap into the true romance card and get a little bit more information on your love with that two of cups let's see what's going on all right so I do see, yes, you made it. So moving things to the next level with this person and this offer coming in that is going to make you feel so wonderful and emotional. And then this is also going to give you the golden hour energy of everything looking beautiful and the, the close of a 
of a journey of a day of 24 hours, something could be happening when you watch this video 20 hour, 24 hours from now to stim and cascade and unfurl where you're going next in your romance, okay? Let's see. Also, I'm getting your love runs deep, so someone around you could have very deep feelings for you, and, and likewise, it's a beneficial relationship, okay, with the Two of Cups, so you've made it, and so foster this, and make sure you're having open communication this month, that you're communicating everything, and so let's add some spice on top of that with the Island Spice deck, what is going on, because if it isn't spicy, then why do it, right? So let's see what the spicy the Island Spice has for you. Ooh, it says practice sun salutations at sunrise. So that, again, this is pulling in on that beautiful sun energy into your relationship and understanding that the sun helps recharge your batteries. Soaking up vitamin D is so healthy for you. Sun gazing, whatever you feel is right for you to absorb the sun's energy, it'll be perfect for you. So let's see, also kiss me already. Woohoo! all right, so there's your island spice. I am loving that energy for you, Gemini. I hope this resonates. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and go watch your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, and I will catch you on the next wave. Bye.